Well, this is Delay W Podcast. I'm the host, Saint. I got my co-host here, Seven. Hi. I got the panel here, Coconut. What it do? Then we got Kiki the Don. Yes, sir. We proceed to give you what you need. Sir, we proceed. Then we got our editor, Warwolf. Excuse me? And then we got our guest, Corb. Yes, sir. Blood on your shirt out now. Sir, check it out. We'll put that in the description. It's so good. It's the only thing I use to masturbate. Dude. Very true. Very true. Don't even change your visuals to UI. Just audio. Before we like start, we're still planning on doing like a listening party on Corb's album. It's in the description, so check it out. Word, we're gonna start on number one trending on Pornhub. Those are the facts. Oh god, that'll be so lit. That would be so funny if it actually happened. His songs are it's like the background of an orgy. Yep. I, 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 I. That'll give me that'll give me a one on one with Tiana Trump, so that'll be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> She'll just like shit in your mouth or something. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Oh no. You think she'd be down for that? Is this? Uh, what's the, what's the topic? After that gummy bear story, you know what? We're not gonna talk about that. That's for season two. Um, <laughs> tonight's episode is a uh, concert experiences. You know, this reliving them. You know, going to festivals and live concerts. Just to make sure, how many of y'all have actually been to a concert? Uh, I have. Uh, only twice. Only one. Only two occasions. I, I think the only concerts I went to were at the anime convention. The Matsuri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They weren't I, fun. I'll tell you I guess, that. I guess. Jeez. I guess we'll call that three. <laughs> what was that like? Because now three. Um. It's as cringy as you think. Like, just a bunch of, like, unwashed nerds in a fucking auditorium of Japanese people on stage screaming and yelling at them and weeb and all the little weebs trying to sing along their broken fake Japanese. Not to mention they be dressed up in costumes. And oh, yeah, the co- Oh, ooh, man, the worst are the furries. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> God. It was like, ugh, it was so nasty. It's like, you know how they try to like pump, pump the crowd up and stuff. Like that didn't really work that well with all these introverts. And, no. Like painful to watch. It, I mean, was only a small group of people in the middle of the crowd that tried doing a mosh pit. And you're just like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. Coconut and I were just there because it was part of the ticket. And we were like, oh, hey, let's like, and try it out. It it was an experience for sure. It, it was, was like, experience. you know, when we went, it was uh, Japanese metal. Oh, yeah, baby metal. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, they were like this big, <laughs> like, I guess they're, yeah, they're, they were pretty big uh, back back when the concert was. They, they performed on the Tonight Show, I think. God. Yeah. But they're like a bunch of, like, I think it's not a bunch, but three Japanese, uh, like high school or middle schooler age. They they would like sing They're that age, oh. pop, but to the background of you know heavy metal. That's why their name is Baby Metal. It was entertaining. I didn't particularly enjoy it, but no, it was it was, it was a that. novel experience. It was a novel experience. But the one time I did actually have some fun was the year Coconut. Wait, well. Was I don't know, were you there? Uh, is that the time yeah, I got blackmailed? I think it is the time, you, yeah. Time I got blackmailed? Uh, yeah, yeah I did not enjoy, no. Yeah, no, this, I was with our buddy, uh, Marcus, and I think, uh, what's his face was there? Um, how did one, what's the student name on here? Let me scroll down. Blank? Uh, he's our artist, our channel artist. I'm trying to remember his. Uh, Fatal. Fatal. Yeah, Fatal. Yeah, Fatal was with with us, 
And <laughs> this is the year they brought a K-pop group. It wasn't just any K-pop group. It was a K-pop group comprised of three Japanese porn stars. Oh, I, th- that's what I missed? <laughs> yeah, that's what you missed. And I don't know how many times I've nutted to this woman but to actually see her in real life, like singing and dancing in front of me. Shut her was up. Was Mikami, that's her name. Y-U-A-M-I-K-A-M-I. She's like one of the top uh, porn stars in Japan. The entire dance floor is covered in cum, bro. Almost, because after their little performance, they had a, like a meet and greet that uh, <laughs> Fatal, really, Fatal really wanted to go to, but I'm like, dude. You just, cut out. you just cut out. God damn it. Well, Fatal wanted to go to the meet and greet, but I told him we couldn't go because we had to again. Uh, you just cut pun out. Pun intended. <laughs> we didn't hear the pun at story. all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to let you know that Afro is joining this episode. Oh, awesome! There he is. There's Afro right there. Don't, don't say anything stupid. We're recording right now. Bro, is this Alcoholics Anonymous uh, Discord chat? Uh-huh. We were in the middle of me telling my experience watching a Japanese porn star uh, perform live. Oh God. Hold on, what? <laughs> yeah, you heard correctly. <laughs> Who whip was this? <laughs> this? This was an, an anime Matsuri. I think that was 2018. Yeah, 2018. What? Did she like... Did she like give a rim job on stage? Like, what, 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 I, 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 I wish. I again. wish. No, <laughs> did, apparently she was part of a K-pop unit with two other Japanese porn stars. And they came to the convention to sing their songs, not do any sexual acts. I think, I think what was the name of there? I think it was like Honey, Honey, Honey something. I have that game. No, not the, not the fucking game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't play that game, guys. Actually, no, fuck it. Go, go get that game. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I don't support what Coconut just said. I don't. I'm so uh, confused. <laughs> okay, the name of the the song was, or the the group was Honey Popcorn. Honey, are you trolling right now? I am not trolling. That sounds uh, like I don't know. Like you can look up Honey Popcorn K-pop and you'll see them. Bad. That's strange. That's a little like yeah. kids. That sounds like this should be like on Nickelodeon Kids or something like that. Honey <laughs> <popcorn>. <laughs> a group of porn stars. That nigga said, Honey popcorn Nick, featuring that nigga the said, bro, All they have to do is just show their feet, bro, and they'll be on mm-hmm. Nick. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're... Shout out Dan they're, <laughs> this, this group, they had a bunch of controversy around them in Korea because they were comprised of three porn stars. Not the fact that they were actually Japanese, just the fact that there's like three porn stars. Yeah, they don't care that they're Japanese. They just care that they were porn stars. Right. And like very high profile porn stars too. It's like if Mia Khalifa became an idol, a singing idol. Oh, okay, man. no, that don't work out. She trash. Yeah, that ain't, that yeah no, I'm, I'm like, this is like the similar, like, an in infamy. Oof. Well, she already tried to become a sports announcer and that didn't work out too good. Let me tell you what, I never thought in my life I would be able to, to see this woman at, like up close besides like through her camera. I have a story. All right. <laughs> yeah, this about to be this about to be funny as fuck. Uh this was 2017. This is probably my wildest concert experience. It was at the Bird's Eye View tour, Travis Scott. Oh yeah, and, shit always goes down with Travis. Yeah, yeah. The fact and, that and tells the story is gonna make me like it's, it makes me really scared because <laughs> every time it says something it's wild <laughs> it's fucking kiki for whatever me. do you mean I'm you gotta call us by our pseudonyms we have pseudonyms is that a thing oh okay whatever um, and uh 
is at this arena is at this place called the the Improv Theater, and it was my first time being there. First of all, we get there, the line is long as shit. I'm thinking like, hey, don't, hey, don't blame me for this. I just, I literally thought it was mainly gonna be niggas out of Travis Scott concert, but no. I was like, oh, Travis got it like that. Okay. So we get into the show. Like, I think, I think like Goosebumps is playing or some shit, man. It, the place is so small, man. Everybody is just cr- cramped in together. It's claustrophobic. And, you know, people start smoking and shit just started getting hot and everything. And so imagine all that going on in the midst of the mosh pit. And so, you you know, the beat drops, we're jumping around. And then all of a sudden, this dude just said, boom, like elbow, elbow me right into my rib. And when I say that was the most like unexpected, like surprising pain, like you would have think I tore my ACL or something, but like, dude, I can't, like, he elbowed me in my rib mid-air, and I came down on my ankle, and I twisted it so bad. <laughs> so bad. Oh, so, my. And, and so, I'm not on the floor, though. I'm just over here, just, like, trying to have a good time while I'm dealing with a limp. And so, at, at that point, like I said, the smoke is in the air. It's still claustrophobic. The mosh pit is getting even more wild. So now I'm starting to become nauseous. Like, I'm dehydrated and I can't see. And I'm starting to become double visioned. And so... Bro. <laughs> and, and, so and so I remember... I remember the exact fit that I wore. And I had a bandana. Man, that bandana was soaked. I'll tell you. And so the I'm just looking. I'm looking for the nearest emergency exit. And I see the <laughs> and I see the big bright exit, red exit sign. So I'm just swimming my way through the mosh pit to get to the side where the exit sign is. And you know, I got dudes just over here like, hey, watch where the fuck you're going, man. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, man, I'm about to die. Like move. <laughs> and so I come across a I come so I see the sign, I'm about to come to it, and then I come across a barrier. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta hop over this fucking barrier, dude. And so I'm nauseous, I'm double vision, I'm dehydrated, and so I I hop over the barrier, both of my knees on the rail, and boom, I fall down onto the floor. And I look up. And I see the security guard. And I'm thinking, oh, shit, I don't think I should have done that, huh? But no, I thought he was going to throw me out. But he was like, concession stand is that way. And so... (laughs) (laughs) It's me while you're, like, dying. (laughs) So I said, oh, okay. Wait, you're not going to rape me? (laughs) You know, I'm like, oh, you're not... I was like, you're not about to throw me out. Cool, bro, cool. (laughs) So I'll go... I'll go to where all the bathrooms is. Man, look, I saw the water fountain. I was at that water fountain for like 30 straight minutes. Like, I finally, and I sit down up against the wall. And I don't know what really gave me the idea that I should take a selfie of myself. Like, (laughs) I took a selfie. I wish I still had it because I look, I was fucked. Oh, Oh, man. Like sweat just everywhere. I looked tired, bro. I was like, I looked defeated. And so I go back to the concert and I'm in the back. Like I'm in the back of the back. I don't want no part of the crowd no more. <laughs> so I watch the rest of the concert <laughs> from the far back. And that it was crazy because this uh that concert was the one uh the time where he debuted uh green and purple 18 and then it was another song and so i was like oh snap and so i just watched the rest of it from the back just nowhere near the crowd and mind you i i drove so i'm walking back to my car just limping 
and I had a it was and it was a it was pretty it was a pretty much far walk too. So walking like Uncle Ruckus and shit. Yep, I'm just over here like yeah. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus, no relation. And don't trust them new gonna niggas be, over there. I'm gonna be able to drive on it, and so, but I did. I made it. I made it. That was the wildest concert experience. My wildest. Was there anyone else in line to get water at the fountain? Yeah. It, oh, yeah. It was hella people at the fountain. Oh wow. Was, they didn't try to rush you when you were drinking. Yeah, it was. It was people, <laughs> but look, it was mostly people going in and out the bathroom. Then like at the being at the water fountain and like regardless I just had the mindset I'm like I'm not I don't know about y'all but I was near death I'm spending as much time as I can at the water fountain <laughs> now, no, Corp. Uh, next time if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have water uh, they sell this product on Amazon it's powdered water you can like keep a little pack in your uh, wallet and if you need to just take it out and all you need to do is add water to it, and you have water. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, hey, so, you, so it's water adding more water? Look, look that's some survivalist huh? type. Bitch, that is some survivalist type. <laughs> like, don't laugh at Seven, because when the apocalypse comes, he's going to be the one we all need. Listen to you. Nah, but but what made me mad about that is like you started talking and I was like, dude, powdered. Like, wait, what? That sounds so cool. And I'm like, wait a goddamn minute, that's not a thing. <laughs> not yet. Oh, oh, powdered water. Oh, oh. Huh? Hold on. I even forgot this part. I forgot this part. It's the very start of the show. Like we're walking into the arena and the DJ the DJ hasn't started his set yet. We're just now walking in. And it's this guy. He walks up to me, and he's like, you your penis? "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> Not a good guess. He hands me this. He hands me this prescription bottle. He's like, "You want some?" And so I'm like, "What's?" I'm like, yeah. What's this? I'm like, "What's this?" I'm like, "What's this?" And so he was like, "It's candy, bro." And so, you know, this other random guy. He's like, "Don't do it, bro." I'm like, "What's that?" He's like, oh yeah, that's oxycodone. I'm like, Jesus what? Christ, like, that's so just handing out oxycodone. Corp, he's trying to Corp, he's trying to get up in your butt, dog. It's a good oh, thing. You. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, I was it's close. Good. He didn't, he didn't want to touch your penis. I'm like, you trying to give? I was like, you trying to give me? I was like, hold on, it's bad enough you off oxy during the concert, but you trying to get other niggas that you don't know off the oxy during the concert? A Travis one at that? Oh man. Yeah, he was trying to. He was trying to fuck you in the restaurant, dog. Yeah, he he was trying no, to get you. He was sick because he was like. To get you. <laughs> You, you just don't have your worst behavior. like that. It's expensive. Like, unless you're, like, like a millionaire or something. The you was trying to get Corp on his worst you behavior? Already trying, you already trying to bait niggas. You, and the show ain't even starts yet. Like, oh, God. I think I'll see where the show starts. That's terrifying. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you want some, bro? I'm like, it's candy. I'm like, if that's <laughs> if, if that ain't the most perverted... Why, why, why is it in a brown, brown bottle? Brown bottle with white cap on the top. <laughs> nah, bro. This That's is this is like a life lesson, bro. Like if if someone like a stranger ever says, like, "Bro, it's just candy." It's never fucking candy. It's never candy <laughs> it's ever. It's never. I mean, I thought they taught us not to take drugs from strangers when we were he little. His, he, I, thought they told, candy, he, I thought they told. I thought they told us don't talk to strangers. Fucking period. He, Strange he played, danger, he, bitch. He played his own self when he said it was candy. I'm like, bro, you think I'm going to tell you, you think I'm going to believe you that it's some candy and a prescription bottle? Hey, what race was he by any chance? He was white. Was well, there you go. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Who else would have Oxycontin? <laughs> white, people, white people doing white people shit. And then this was the funniest shit, too. Like, I felt like it was like. That nigga Travis, man, he be having some cult like type fans, cause like not I saw that was the only place where I ever saw so many white people wearing so many NBA jerseys in one place. <laughs> oh man. I, I, saw, I saw like twenty to thirty like white dudes wearing like basketball jerseys, like NBA jerseys, and I'm like 
been here. <laughs> like, okay. I mean, they are comfortable, so. And I got elbowed by a dude in an NBA jersey, so I'm like, oh, okay, now I see how you be. I, I wouldn't wear be. that no Travis concert, though. I'm oh, no. That should be oh, drinks. That's- I did play myself on that too. Like I, I dressed up for that shit. Now, like no, never again. No, 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 no. Never again. No. Go up in a wife beater, and you'll be fine. Honestly, bro. What? Like, what did you say? I, honestly, like my first experience was Astro World Festival, the the first one. Yeah. Wait, that oh, was the first, first concert you've been to? No, that was the first Travis concert I've been to. Oh. Uh. You actually went to like the the festival? Yeah, I went to the first one and the second one. The first oh. one, man, I went with my boy Purple Coast. And like you said, it's not just dudes, it was some baddies. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying it, but it was baddies. Man. How would you get in trouble? Anyways, for that? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that, but <laughs> uh-huh. we sitting in like we we fucked up, bro. Never again. I learned my lessons like from that moment. We were like, oh, let's get some merch. <laughs> no, I don't know. Mine's Nigga, ridiculous. That's the first one. We were in like, keep in mind, here in the second was drastic because Travis, he was like, he was hyped, but he wasn't as hyped. Because I'm Astro behind you. Came, came out what? Astro like, was 18. Three months before it, maybe three or two months. Mm-hmm. And we sitting in that merch line, bro. I kid you not, we were there from the beginning. And it's, you know what? Nah, nah. We probably got in earlier because I had the season pass, but Purple didn't have that shit. On top of this nigga, I'm like, hey, bro, let's get there early. He like, oh, hold on, man. I'm getting a haircut. I'm like, this nigga. My nigga oh, was trying to look man. Nah. I'm like, this nigga. But, you know, we had our waters on us. We smoked a little bit of reefer after the fact. Like, well, no, we smoked a little bit during the line, allegedly. Allegedly. Um, and we sent in the merch line. We were there from, I want to say, like, 1 o'clock? Because that's when we got there. All the way till Travis performed. No. So we, yeah. we missed out everything. I was, I was heated. I was heated, bro. I missed out on Trippy, Juice World, all that. Bro. And... They kept, yes. like, I kid you not, they had a uh, Stellar. He was, like, running the booth. And, like, one one other person, it was only two people doing the merch line. Just imagine that. Thousands of people there. Did you and get only your two merch? people doing the merch line. I got my merch at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. shit, bro. That wasn't it was worth stupid. it, though. <laughs> that really wasn't worth it. Oh, it, it's worth it. If you see the prices now on StockX, foul. <laughs> Oh, but man, people, I guess people would kill for that. Like That's the cool. long sleeve that I got, bro, that shit was like three hundred dollars. Yeah, I paid sixty five for that shit. You got me fucked up. I'm not paying no three hundred for that. Always, That's why I'm gonna always feel grateful about my Yeezy smirch. Or if you ain't uh, telling shit, boy. And hey, keep in mind, bro, they shut the line down like three times, and they was like, "Oh, if y'all don't back up, we're gonna shut all this shit down." I was like, "Nah, nigga, I'm not leaving until I get merch." Even oh, bro, was they like. You make too much money for merchandise. You're not going to close the line. Mm-hmm. Nah, it, it at all. Close yeah, it. No, it was stupid, bro. But it, it's some crazy shit. You meet some new people. It was niggas from fucking Dallas, California, Arizona, yeah. Dallas, just all over. You, it, it was a vibe, bro. And you had bitches on the carousel. They showing their titties. It. I'm like, what the fuck is going back? on? Here? Huh? Did you show your titties back? Nigga, she was all the way up there. I want to show my titties. It's only courtesy. Yeah. This nigga. I've been to Camp Vlog, no, but I didn't go to Ashford. And, you know, just kind of. And then the mosh pit, that shit was funny, bro. Like, I fucked up on my ones. I recovered them shits, but I didn't know it was going to be. Fucked up your It was so much mud. Why would you wear I fucked them up. Astro World? Why did you think that was a good idea? What? I didn't know it was going to be in the mud part, though. Hold on. What, so, what? But it's, it was my beaters, what? so. It's, it's my beaters, though. Hair. Like, I wear them shits everywhere. I wear them shits everywhere. And they, they were covered, though. What but were they covered by? It was the braids. Oh. So, we sitting there in the mosh pit. I kid you not, I, I saw my boy Purple. 
as soon as Travis Travis Troll too, we got all the way to the front for this nigga to be like, I'm behind you. And this nigga pop up out the fucking floor behind us. So then we gotta rush all over there. <laughs> Five minutes in, bro, I lost that nigga purple. Travis I saw that nigga. Nigga just popped out. I don't I, I think I have the video. I'll probably post it later. He said it but, on mic. He's like, I'm behind you. Yeah, and that nigga just popped up. So we had to rush over here. Then you felt your pants drop. And then everybody Christ. just oh. like crazy and running towards. <laughs> we was running towards that shit. And the moss bitch was getting crazy. And that and that nigga, <laughs> he said, open that shit up. Was he was open he the fucking on, pits? I'm like, oh. Or was he running on like some little Uzi type shit? No, no, he was like on a uh, the little thing. He was riding that joint in like a circle, or whatever. But he, he like not even like two minutes in. He said, "Open that shit up. Open the pits up." And w- once that shit happened, I lost purple for the rest of the night. Like I didn't see that nigga until like fifteen minutes after the festival was over. Damn, <laughs> understandable. Yeah. You move all over the place. You elbowing niggas and shit. Yep. Oh, dude, in the good gotta spot. about that, dude. Oh my god. But festival two was worse, and I didn't realize how packed it was until I saw the video of the crowd. Holy shit! That shit was terrible. Like I almost died at Playboy Cardi. Never again, mm. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. He he was he's fucking lit, but but not worth dying over. Just, they tried to do. <clears throat> I kid you not, bro. Bitches was feigning and shit. Niggas was bleeding and stuff. Like they sent motherfuckers home and shit. Stretches and all that. These niggas was doing the mosh pit, like right next to each other. Not like no space, like literally, like right next to each other. And I was like, oh nah. And purple and another homeboy we had linked up. And they, t- I think they lost the blunt too. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I looked at them niggas out, and I was like, nah, bro. This ain't the vibe. This. And Playboy, after like three songs, he was like, if y'all niggas not about it, you can leave now. You can just leave now. I was like, oh, for sure. I fucking dipped. <laughs> I, I got the fuck out of there. I was like, because I'm not trying to die. And especially, I'm I'm already short. I'm not like short, short, but I'm short. But the shorter you are, nigga, you got nowhere because that mosh pit will fuck you up. Like, you can't breathe for shit. Mm. But I, I heard him and got out of there. Like, Never I heard. Dog. I heard that you're supposed to like pull a knife out during the mosh pit and just indiscriminately just start stabbing. That, that, that's supposed you to definitely don't do that. That's, you, you definitely don't do that. Uh, that's, that's, uh, what the fuck? I mean, how else would you raise your kill count? <laughs> Jesus, your oh, body one count. got stumped on too. Body count. Don't don't say kill. One nigga got stumped. Well, why? On. When Travis was before. Our body count is the amount of bodies you have sex with. I mean, unless you want to have sex with the bodies you after you kill them, but mm-hmm, that, no, <laughs> that's, that's some that's on some necrophilia type shit, bro. Oh, oh, and especially, bro, the fucking lock. They had no lockers, bro. That shit was sold out, so I couldn't put my merch up at all. And I'm not gonna lie, nigga, I had dropped my shit for a second, bro. When, when Travis was forming, nigga, I thought I was gonna die near man, cause I had to hurry up and grab that shit, cause. If you get stumped on nigga, it's a GG. You fucking done. I ain't trampled the elephants, right? Jesus Christ. That, that's probably not my worst like experience. Like I think the worst is probably the Beyonce one. Oh. Wait, when did you see Beyonce? You've been to Beyonce? You've been to Beyonce uh, yeah, when she had the lemonade tour, I went with my mom and my pops. I had no choice because my mom got me uh, the Summer 16 uh, Drake uh, tickets. So it, mm, yeah. it was just like, you got no choice, nigga. You, you coming. I've been like, Goddamn. Summer 16. Like, it was lit, but bro, it was these two white bitches that were drunk. And one shot, she got a little too close, and she threw that ass on me. Uh-oh. And I, I'm, I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck. I want to enjoy this shit, but I can't enjoy this shit. My mom right there. Yeah. And so you're trying not to get hard? That too. And then my mom, I already know. She was about to go off. I'm like. My hands are up here. My hands are up here. Literally, literally. literally I'm like this. I'm like. Hands up, don't shoot. I didn't do nothing. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. But my mom 
it's not even. She's like, I'm not even gonna fight them bitches. Like they drunk. You know, I said that the Travis concert was my wildest, and it wasn't because the Tyler concert, and I've been at, I've been to four of them. My fourth one was my wildest because I got arrested. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we I gotta do. talk about this. But it, hold on, yeah, okay, yeah, because look, I was totally allegedly. In the right, not allegedly. I was in the right. I wasn't in the wrong. Because look, you know, people like people being hold like all second. twenty, they're holding up their phones with his mug shot, with a picture of his <laughs> mug shot on the phone. Hey, there goes that n- right there. And so, <laughs> and. Everyone's just, yeah, everyone's holding up the picture of him on their phone with his mugshot. And so then next thing you know, all these kids like around me, especially like one of the people, um, one of the, like one of my homeboys, like who I went up in there, they all started like holding up their phones with porn playing on their phones. No. And so... I'm trying to tell my homeboy, I'm like, hey, man, I'm grabbing the phone. I'm trying to grab his hand and put the phone down. I'm like, bro, you're going to get us in trouble, bro. But like, put the phone down. Put the phone down. And then all of a sudden, the security guard comes out of nowhere, and he snatches the phone out of my hand, and he thought it was my phone. And so he's just talking to me. He's like, you think that shit funny? He's like, you think that shit funny? He was like, oh, yes, yes, I do. He was like, that's it. He was like. You, uh, he was like, you a fucking perv? That's what you are? He was like, you fine with being a fucking perv? Playing porn and shit? I was like, no, I was like, this ain't even my phone. He was like, don't even try that shit. I'm like, it's not my phone. And so he was like, yeah, come on. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, tell this dude that. I'm like, tell this dude this is your phone, bro. I'm like, tell him this is your phone. Bro, I got snaked. I got snaked. And so. That's fucked. And so I'm like. Wait, so he's just going to let that nigga take his phone, though? And so. And, and, right, he took off with the nigga phone, and then not only his phone got took, but he set me up to get arrested. I'm like, oh no! Like, and this is your friend? No, no more. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> that was that was bad that night, but like I was like, man, and so they're taking me, and I'm just literally, try- I'm just going off at the mouth to these dudes, man. They, we over here waiting till the police come. I started talking to these dudes because they was like, as soon as they pulled up, they're like, come on. I'm like, come on, where? I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm not going nowhere. And I just like, I was just like, fuck y'all, fuck you. Da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden, like, they, they put me on the trunk. They hang, like, they put me on the trunk and everything. And I was at exam. And so, like, yeah, they, like, literally, like, I got my head slammed on the trunk and everything. And, they put me into the back, and I uh, got I was held detained like in the little like holding center, holding cell for like two hours before like I got bailed out. And they like they all like they said it's like okay yeah it wasn't your phone. Da, 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 da. They was like we're gonna take that we're you know we'll take that charge up off you and everything. He was like we'll take that misdemeanor off you. He was like but one uh, we will hold you for uh police harassment and i'm like police harassment i'm like does that even fall under any book of law or anything i'm like i'm like people harass y'all every day that and motherfucker like, we are the law yeah and you about to give me a prior f- for this shit i'm like come on now at least they didn't shoot you yeah yeah, I'm, yeah. like like sad to say it like that's <laughs> You gotta no, be thankful for that. <laughs> no, that no, that is so true though. That is so yeah. true. I was like, man, I was like, dude. And then on top of that, the guards know me. Like, well, he didn't, but like all the other guards know me because, like I said, this is my fourth one, and I've been in front row at the like in the waiting line, in front row at the show every single concert, and so like they recognized my face and everything. And I was like, you guys didn't even vouch, put in a vouch. Like, y'all guys know I don't be on that type of stuff. I'll just be coming to watch the show. But no, nah, no. Nah. 
he was like, man, your phone was in your hand, man. He was like, what can I do? What can I do? He's like, everybody else said it wasn't their phone. I'm like, man, of course they gonna say that shit. You didn't show him your phone, though? I did show him my phone. I know, we have two phones. Literally, that was like, I did show him my phone, and all they kept saying was, we found the phone in your hand, and that makes you guilty. And they didn't buy my story when I said that I was literally trying to put, I was literally trying to, like, put my friend's hand down, and the hands just got tangled up. Our hands just got tangled up where, when the security guard snatched it, the phone just happened to come out my hand. And so you, you were in entanglement. <laughs> you know, okay, I got Jada. in an entanglement with the police. Or the rent cops I should say. Yeah, the rent cops You know. Like, so. the security guards, like, are they even allowed to hold you like that? Like, can't you just, like, leave? Like, I don't think they have any legal power over you, do they? No. No. They yeah. don't. No. But, like, literally, I could... He was telling me to go, and I was like, I'm not going nowhere. And then that's when he called all his other boys to come over there. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm not about to fight these dudes. So I'm like, <laughs> and so then I'm like, but I did have the whole crowd, the uh, like the whole rest of the crowd behind me, though, because they was all booing. They was like, boo. I was like, man, like, please let that work. But it didn't even work. I don't think they would they care enough. <laughs> nope. They're like, oh, we got to meet our quota. Nope, nope. And then they went right back to the show. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, that's just we should have the crowd behind you because you crazy. just remind me of the bullshit that, that I forgot, man. These niggas threw a shoe at me in the festival, man. Oh, who are you? But George Bush? Uh-huh. Yeah, so they were they were throwing shit, bro. Like they were bouncing like uh beach balls and shit. Oh yeah. A basketball, water bottles. A fucking lawn chair too. This is funny. <laughs> I looked at a lot of shit. A lawn chair. So, a lawn chair. <laughs> before you go to a festival, do not fucking pregame before that shit. Mm, so no, no, no coke to do. Okay. Nigga, we tried to pre like we we pregame before we walked in the gates, and we didn't realize you know waiting how long it was gonna be. Mm. So you sobered up before then. <laughs> nah, I wasn't even sobered up, man. nigga. I was, we was all about to pass out, especially uh, Donnie Guns, that nigga. Luckily, we uh, we got the lawn chair. We took that shit and let that nigga sit down, so everybody started clapping for him because he was about to pass out for sure. Cause he way bigger than me. Like, mm. <laughs> it was, it was, it was looking like a GG. But never again, bro. Add some water on you. I'm gonna bring a bag next time. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna bring a bag next time. Just... I always do fanny packs, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do the fanny pack. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm bringing the fanny pack, man. Yeah, you can you fit a lot of the, the water powder in there. Oh, this nigga. Coconut, do you have some mosh pit stories? I only have yeah. one. Is it that time when you had a mosh pit inside your asshole? Got a mosh pit in that place. No, 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 no. Never. No, nah, we went to go watch Higher Brothers Never. at, I think, House of Blues. I think that was the location. And Higher Brothers are cool. I never really listened to their music. I only went because my girlfriend wanted to. Bro, they had a mosh pit, you know. And then there's this, this Asian dude, this fucking little Asian motherfucker. He would be elbowing uh, my girlfriend all the time in her ribs, you know. And then uh, I saw that. I was like, all right, let me let me take your place. And he continued to do it even though we moved. And I was like, okay. Uh, all I did was just grab that guy and chuck him across, and like, and I never saw him at all from that moss pit. He apparently, the kid I threw, he landed on top of people, like by <laughs> threw, not on, <laughs> on not on top of people, like like not like over the crowd, but like I threw him into the middle of the mosh pit, knocking over other people. Oh wow! Because I was pissed. Because that's what he gets. Uh, Fuck him. Yeah, and then you could, and the funny part is, this guy goes to UH. I see him almost every time. He Wait, looks seriously? like a, yeah, he looks like a stupid frat, like like a wannabe type of guy, you know, trying. Oh, he was to a rapist, is what you're saying. Yes, yeah. I well, I I don't know, but he was wearing. He had like the, he was like wearing weeb shit. He has the supreme everything, 
And I'm like, okay, dude. And it's then I remember really one time. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't look at people's feet. But I remember at the same time, I think some dude started yelling at me because I think he saw me do that. All I did was put my hand in his face and pushed him back. And he fell into the middle of the moss pit. And I feel like he got stepped on and completely <laughs> trampled. Like, Ooh, why are these niggas flying? The th- they're flopping is because I'm too fucking strong for them, and they're just weak ass motherfuckers always on Percocets and Molly. I honestly, no one there would have been able to take Coconut. Like, it pisses me off. Like, all right, dude, I'm not trying to fight you. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> all I'm gonna do is push you into the middle of the mosh pit, and I'll let the mosh pit do the work. Like, that's yeah. smart. Like, well, like, stop it. <laughs> and then, um, uh, one of the higher brothers threw the shirt or like one of his shirts, and everybody tried grabbing it. I grabbed it in my hands like fully and this fucker started yanking the sleeve as hard and i was like what the hell is he this guy doing like i'm still just grabbing with one hand and i see this kid like using his entire body weight and then he put his foot on my leg trying to like pry it off me oh my god i was like this ain't worth it for a fucking shirt so i ripped the shirt in half and i let him have it (laughs) there you go there you go like it's just a fucking shirt i don't care if these guys are it's just a shirt <laughs> but go. i'll rip it i don't care and like then, what uh, you should have done is sack him and then rip it and throw it on the floor no i'm not gonna sack him because uh it was there wasn't a mosh pit at the time okay so there was a there was a post somewhere i don't know it was like on their on the instagram story it's like oh who's the fucker that ripped my shirt and i'm like, <laughs> 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 like he put on his story and they got like you know like it shared yeah, I saw it. And I was just like, "That's hilarious, ah, bitch!" I grabbed, I grabbed everything, and all he did was grab like it's a long sleeve, a sl- uh, long sleeve T-shirt. So you only grab like I don't know, whatever, like part of the sleeve like that long. So like the higher, like one of the higher brothers is the one that put it on your story. Uh, I'm not too sure. I just saw mm-hmm. it, and I was like, "Okay, cool." Like I, I don't, I don't get mad at that shit. I was just. I don't know, but I only got pissed off when that uh, the asshole was uh, what do you call it, elbowing my girlfriend. Yeah, so that I I threw him. I threw him hard. I'm surprised you didn't do anything worse. No, I because I knew that we're in public and I know there was a mosh pit, so I was like, I'll just throw him in the middle of there. Hopefully, he gets shit on. And apparently, he did because I saw scrapes and bruises on him at, when I went to UH. You should have attacked he... him when you saw him on campus, bro. No, I think he saw me. And he looked at me and just didn't want to say anything because I think he was way too high to actually recognize my face. Yeah, well, he sounds like a like a wimp, anyways. Dude, they were they all were, bro. Like, why do people that wear Supreme are always the skinny ass motherfuckers out there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're the most weakest too. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> I hate when those type of niggas though. Just it's they like, don't even be caring about like women being in like the monsters. They don't want to be in that shit, bro. And then they like, be like stopping them from like leaving. It's like, hey, bro, get the fuck out the way. Yo, yo, that happened when I was at a, a Tyler concert, and literally it was this. No, I don't know why she. I don't know why she thought. She thought though. What? Look, it was this big, big, big. Oh my. Gosh, I don't know how she got up. I don't know how she got up. I don't know how she got up there on the crowd. Stuff, big thighs, big arms, big legs. What's up? And I don't know why people felt the need to. I was like a bucket from KFC to keep carrying her. Oh God! The crowd, to, across the crowd, sir. So look. I mean, my ass. I'm like, if she thinks I'm about to carry her across this, country, <laughs> she, got a, she got another thing coming. And so she literally coming over here. She's slapping hands and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this and Lizzo? Look, or what are you talking about? Oh, oh my God. And then look, <laughs> I straight up did this. I said, like, I moved out of the way. I said, and look, boom, right in front of me. <laughs> I promise to God. I promise to God. Like, boom, like right in front of me. Like dropping a nuke. And uh-huh. he was like, yo, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Why'd you do that? <laughs> I, I have cerebral palsy. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I said, why? And I said, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just expect someone to carry you. I'm 
I'm like, bro, I'm not care. No. I'm like, she didn't crowd surf enough through enough people, man. I'm like, no. I'm like, forget that. It has to stop. Hey. And look, she got up. She look, she got up. And so, and so look, she lied. She lied. I was like, see, she fine. <laughs> she got a lot of cushioning. Exactly. Bro, I'm like, I had like something knew. similar. I had like something similar happen to me, bro. I was mad. I went. Uh, oh, I think I know where the story you're gonna tell. I don't. Really? I don't know. But um, I went and saw. Uh, when was this? This was probably maybe like five years ago, or something like that. It was a while ago. But I saw this band called Modern Baseball at this little venue called Walters. It's like a little warehouse, and like, uh, it was it was like. I was at the show and I was crowd surfing, but I wasn't stage diving. Like I was just kind of crowd surfing because like one of my friends had just picked me up and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Uh-oh. I'm crowd surfing now. So I was like, all right, don't set me on the stage, bro. Like I'm literally like up around everybody because the way that Walters was set up, it was like a big, uh, I mean, like it was like a warehouse and it had like a little tiny stage that was maybe like two or three feet high. And uh, the stage was really tiny. So, like, I'm a big dude, so if I'm a stage dive, I need to have room to, like, jump. And then, right. like, at this actual show, there was, like, because there was, like, they're, like, an, like modern baseball, they're, like, they were, like, an indie band. Like, the, the most of the front row section was, like, a bunch of just emo kids. So I was, Uh-oh. like, <laughs> if they're not going to catch me, these girls are Bro, all, you like, should have done it, man, pounds. and land on them. It's not going to work. <laughs> So uh, they said they've been tried for murder, and I was just like, "I oh my god, okay, I'm on stage, literally while they're playing, and I'm just like, I have to jump off, I have to do this." Um, so like, I just start looking around the crowd, and I choose a direction and go. So I literally like point at everybody, and I'm like, "Catch me, please, Catch me. Just put your hand out. <laughs> I'm begging you, just." If everyone does it, it won't be that bad. <laughs> and I just kind of jump, and literally everyone moves out the way. <laughs> and smack onto the concrete floor. Right? <laughs> you can just so, walk off the stage? I was just like, the band was playing, and I was surrounded, and I was like, I have to. So, uh, like, oh yes, I had to jump on all these emo kids. Like, dude, I just, I, I literally, I was like, dude, please, just put your hand up. And maybe like one person did. <laughs> like, but it never, was too that late. kid will be never hurt again, dude. And so, I jumped, and I was just like, oh my god, like what the fuck? Like, I get up, like I was a little bit like dazed. Like, okay, I just smacked it <laughs> in the concrete floor, and, and like, I literally, I get up and I'm dazed, and I'm like looking around, like, oh uh, wait, what just happened? And then out of nowhere. I just feel someone grab my shirt and pull me. And it's like this 40-year-old white lady just screaming at me. You fell on my son! You fell on my son! Uh-oh. Why would you do that? Oh, no. <laughs> you and you was dealing with a Karen, bro. I was so confused. And then I looked Karen. below me. Karen, and I, I don't know if you want to say that a Karen. Like, if you just see your son squish... Between dude, a dude that literally... I don't know, why would a 40-year-old white what? woman be at a show like this with her kids? But see, what was funny, though, what was... That's what I'm saying, because this was, like... This was, like, a, it's an emo show with, like, a bunch of, like, you know, just, like, dudes <laughs> just, like, you know, just being seen. Being emo. You know? Uh, but this was, like... And it was, like, a little warehouse show. It was, like... But this this kid, I look down, and he's, like, on the floor. This kid, like, can't be older than 14. Oh and I'm my! Just like, what are you doing here? First off, why are you in the front row with me? I wasn't the only person stage diving. There was a bunch of people stage diving, but I was just the biggest one there because I didn't want to stage dive. Maybe but, he singled you out because you're black. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's probably one answer. <laughs> Man, yeah, but that was I. Uh, so you landed on this kid? Yeah, I landed on that kid. I mean, we, we, he like, like after the, after they finished their set, like I went and found him. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I gave him a little handy. Yeah. The mom was like really cool. <laughs> Allegedly. Like, mom, Allegedly. I'm not even going to respond to what you just said. 
Jesus. You already did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, The FBI is already up my dude, I feel. (laughs) Yeah. So that was that. What about that time uh, you you broke something? What? Uh I remember you told us a story a couple years ago about a mosh pit that broke your toe or something? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, um, I didn't break it, like, fully, but it was, like, kind of a... Like, I couldn't move my, uh, my hand for, like, two weeks. Like, it was, like, maybe, like, a little crack or something in it. I don't know, but it just sort of... Like, I couldn't move it. But uh, I went to Denver, and I saw... Um, I saw this band counterparts and they're like a like real tight, like hardcore band. Uh, but I saw them in a uh Gorilla Grip. The 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 venue that I saw them at was uh it was it's called the Marquee Theater. And it's it's like a super dope venue, but it is tiny, like super small, and it's like a pizza shop slash venue. Like it's just oh, like really no. really small, like DIY spot, and it was like completely packed. And, um, yeah, so I, I saw this band and we, uh, and, you know, I was like standing like on the outside of the mosh pit, like just kind of doing my thing, you know, just like vibing, listening to the music, whatnot. Touching yourself. You know, sometimes, but, um, Allegedly. what I, what I realized when I was at that show is that like kids in Denver don't know how to mosh without, like, killing one another. Like, they mosh, like, really aggressively. And so I was, like, kind of, like, watching them, like, yo, like, violent, dude. Like, what the fuck are they doing? So, um, so I was, like, really cognizant of that. Like, I was keeping an eye on the pit at the, like, same time I was watching the band. But it just so happened that, like, the one time I took my eye off of the pit, like, because the pit was kind of empty at this point. Like, there was maybe, like, one guy in there, and he was on the other side of the pit. So I wasn't really tripping too much. I was like, he can do it. I'm going to, like, look at the band real quick, and I'm going to look back. So I look at the band, and then I look back at the pit, and the guy who was on the other side of the pit is now right in front of me, throwing his foot at my face. So, um, <laughs> like, just mule kicking me at full force. So, like, before his foot comes up, I, like, put my hand out to stop him. And I'm like, hey, bro, like, what? And then he, like, catches my hand with his foot. And then, like, he swings his he swings his fist, like, back and, like, tries to hit me in the face. Because he's, like, he's just aggressive, like, for no reason. So I grab him and I, like, punch him in the stomach and, like, put my hand in his face and, like, slide him all the way across the pit where, like, three other guys, like, beat the shit out of him. So, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like, the rest yeah. of the night, like, I could not use my hand, and I was so... And then, like... Which hand was it? What happened? Which hand was it? Your masturbating hand or your other hand? I swear to God, I knew he was going to go there. Uh, it's know. a legitimate question. I think it was my right hand. No, it was my left hand. It was my left hand. I'm pretty sure it was my left hand. Are you lefty? No, I'm a, I'm a righty. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I, I do. I fucking hate the silence. That was. That. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> oh my god. No, There's man. one story I need you to talk about, bro. Which one? It's about the house party with a. Uh... He's been on the podcast. Oh See? my. god. God, dude, I remember that. Oh, I Uh-oh. forgot about that, dude. Uh, I hmm. about this. Jesus, man. I fuck with this. So that was, story. this was at uh, the oh, the band that I used to play in. We threw a house party. This was our second show. Um, this was like our second show that we had ever played. Weirdly enough, it was our first show that we had played in Houston. But, um, we played at our bass player's house and we threw a we threw like a house party with like some other bands that were already established like in Houston. So we had like a really good crowd that showed up. Like it was a lot of people at that house in that backyard. And so uh you know, we we kind of threw it like it was a house show, but we were kind of a party at the same time. BYOB, whatever. Um 
but there was this one, like, there was this one group of people. They were, like, mid-twenties, uh, mid-twenties kind of looked like frat boy type. Uh, and it Jesus was so, Christ, I, I looked at them when they came in, and I knew that they were going to be an issue, right? Because one of them comes in, the first one comes in, and he's wearing a unicorn. And uh, he, the second one comes in, and it's this girl who is wearing like a skimpy, like red dress, like boobs almost hanging out. Um, I think she ended up making out with a bunch of strangers that night. And then, like, Makes sense. the third guy came in and was like screaming and had like two bottles of Jack Daniels that were like half empty. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, these people are gonna be a problem. Like, this. So, like, two. Two different bottles, and each were half empty. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> like, truly chaotic energy, bro. <laughs> truly That's great. Chaotic energy. But, um, so that happened, and then, like, so I was like, they're going to be an issue. Like, I just, I, I feel it. So I was watching them. So, like, our first, the first band played, and um, they, like, I remember this, the, the one guy who was in the, the, the uh, the one guy who came in with the Jack Daniels, I remember him because he was like moshing a little bit, but I mean, he was, he wasn't like, but he was like drunk or on something, probably both because he wasn't like so much moshing, but he was like the only dude that was like in this crowd, just sort of pushing people. And like, we were all just kind of like pushing him back. Like, you know, we just made it a little thing like, ah, oh, whatever, we're moshing, <laughs> whatever. Um, but, like, people kind of came up to me and was just like, yo, you need to watch him. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm watching him. He's on something. And so the, our next friends come on. They're playing. And this is so funny because it's, like, a slow part in their set. Like, it was a slow song. And he's the only guy moshing. Like, literally the whole crowd is just standing there, just sad, vibing. And, like, this dude is just, like, Whoa! like, just pushing people. And, uh... We were just like, yeah, this dude is, uh, this dude's tripping. But the, what what got me was there was this girl who was standing on the other side of the pit, and she was recording the bands, and like on her phone, and like he walks up and like full force just like yeets this girl across the backyard, and so, <laughs> and so I see that, and I'm just like, okay, yo, we got to do something about this. So I run up to him and I grab him, and I'm like, hey. I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only. You need to go back over to your friends and sitting on that blanket over the corner and you need to like sit down and chill. I'm, I'm a blanket. Yeah, like they have like a little blanket they were sitting on. I was like, what? weird, but whatever. And I was like, you need to go over there. You need to sit down and you need to chill the fuck out. Like, I'm going to tell you this one time and that's it. And he's like, all right, all right, man. All right. Uh, yeah, whatever, dude. And he like, turns around and walks away and then he turns like immediately he turns around and like lunges at me and tries to punch me so i oh, grab no. him so i like i weave him and then i grab him and then i just go boom straight into his nose and then like i hit him again and like th like three people like grab me and like pull me off and then um what gets me is they try to pull me off to stop me from fighting him. And then as soon as that happens, like seven other people dog on this guy and just start fighting him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the singer of my band at that time, like he, uh, he, he was like, and it's so funny because this dude was a unit. Like he was, I think he was like six, four, like maybe 250 something pounds, like big, big dude. He like, walks over he's like all hairy too so he looks like a bear and he sounded like a bear when he did this because he walked over uh -oh. stanced up growling like just straight up like, <laughs> he just, I swear to god this dude's head looked like a punching bag because he just went do, 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 do. just like super fast punches and just like beat the ever living daylights out of this dude and we all just kind of threw him out the backyard after that did you at least so, pee on him Why does it always have to go there? <laughs> with you? I don't know. You gotta search your dominance. Nah, but uh, so like we threw him out, 
and then like he bagged what, him. What made it worse was like the friend that came in with the onesie. He had like he had like a unicorn onesie on. Oh, uh, Jesus. He came up to me later, mm-hmm. later that night, like after that band had played, and he's just like, and he was he was he was like drunk, drunk, drunk at that point. And he's just like, dude, I'm sorry about my friend, man. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, nah, dude, for real. Like, I'm sorry, man. You know, he's just, you know, he's a little wild, man. You know, are you? Of shows and we just get a little swifty. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he said swifty. He literally Sweet said, God. sometimes we just get a little swifty, you know? Sometimes I was like, dude, get out of my face. So I'm going to throw you out, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd, like, never talk to him again. But uh, yeah, that was that was wild. That was an experience. Plot twist. That was actually Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or he came to our dimension. He was just on a special episode. Yes, you know. <laughs> well, I think this was a good episode. I want to thank Corey for coming on and Afro. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, we need you to come on the podcast more often, Afro. We built like a podcast. Uh-huh. I <laughs> guess I don't. Okay, <laughs> take that as a compliment. <laughs> I I I will, I will, and we're gonna keep y'all guys updated. Um, if we don't do it this week, we'll probably try to hype it up for next week to do a listening party of Corpse album. We're just we're trying to figure out how we won't get any strikes or anything like that because twitch is on weird shit now and youtube we don't we don't know yet but we'll, we'll see we'll keep everybody posted uh seven do you have any uh announcements or anything like that to close this off oh i do want to put some pressure on afro to come back on the podcast because we need to we need, we need him to tell a story about his this one girl he was seeing whose grandfather was like a part of the KKK or something like that. What? Oh, Jesus. I didn't ask what that's the gist of the story. Am I right? Nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> no, that was you. I thought that, that was, was you. That was that, maybe not KKK, but they were definitely racist. Okay, that was true, but he wasn't in the KKK. That was, uh, nah, that wasn't me. My story was skinhead. That's you, bro. Okay, yeah, you had the skinhead. And I Afro understand. had the racist. He definitely had the he had the racist too. Mm-hmm. Well, that's gonna be season two talk. Um, for sure. <laughs> Other than that, uh, remember check it, check us out on Spotify, and our Patreon is also linked in the description. If we get enough likes, enough views, then we'll have coconuts nudes posted on the Patreon. So look forward to that. Well, yeah, I better post that, bro. I'm well, if we get anyone to support us on Patreon, because as of right now, we have zero supporters, zero Patreons, or patrons. And I'm not surprised. I mean, why would they want to support us, especially with all the questionable things we say? You meaning you? Yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Most pretty much. <laughs> what would the podcast be without my commentary? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boring, that's what it would be. So, yeah. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know what your favorite story was and if you had any funny concert stories. And remember, check out uh, You or Mikami. Very thick. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the link, bro, after this. Oh, beat type beat. Oh, there's Kiki. Finally came back. There you go. What are you doing? Have fun with the... Fall collection of Polo. Had to shit. <laughs> All righty, y'all. Catch y'all on the next episode. Peace. Yeah. Bye.